Hey there YouTube, I'm Rusty. And I'm Bobby. And man, we are, we just cracked open a couple of Stewart's root beers. We are enjoying these bad boys. They are good. And, yes, and uh, I see on the label that it's uh, sweetened with real cane sugar. Real, real with that's cane. Real. Not that fake not cane that, sugar. No, not that fake stuff you import from China. <laughs> or wherever. Just, uh, just good old fashioned, real cane sugar. Yep, on the back it's made with water. Also, I see that water's a key ingredient. <laughs> oh, I sure hope so. I sure hope so. But, uh, man, that is a good root beer. It's very, uh, I want to say it's got a very vanilla-y flavor. As far as the spectrum of root beer flavors go, it's on the vanilla side, I would say. What do you think, man? I, I would say so. You take IBC and you add a little vanilla to it, and uh, I think you Somewhere between that IBC and maybe an A and W going that that, that way. Uh, it's, it's a good flavor though. It's real real smooth flavor. Cool. You had Stewart's before? I have. Stewart's is one of my favorites. Yeah. Well, Stewart's readily available around here. You can get yes. them at in Dixie. Cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrel. Is <laughs> that's where, the, that's these where I came, get mine. These came from Cracker Barrel. <laughs> that's where I get mine. And uh, I'm drinking mine in honor of my daughter, Taylor Richardson. It was hard for me to say she recently <laughs> married and she <laughs> doesn't have going. a maiden name anymore. So, Kaylee <laughs> Richardson, that's my daughter. She gave me this root beer. And so, mm -hmm. drinking this one in honor of her, picking that up at Cracker Barrel. Oh, makes it taste better then. I think you can also get on the floor market. Mm -hmm. I think so. Like I said, I normally get mine at Cracker Barrel. A couple of biscuits and a Stewart's. You have another root beer. Stewart's has other flavors too. They got like black cherry. Cream soda, mm -hmm. grape, orange, cream. Really? Oh, oh, there's a bunch of them. As a matter of fact, I picked my wife up uh, cherries and cream. Uh, oh. Just trucked it on the good side. You know what I mean? <laughs> the cherries and cream sounds good. Uh huh. Hmm. Well, this is our second video. So, all of you out there who requested it, okay, none of you did. We just wanted to do an another video. That's this right. is our second root beer enjoying video. And yes. It is good. Today is hot. This is cold. It's yes. Really and um, we're having vacation Bible school at our church this week. Yes, sir. And uh, I'm the pastor, and uh, Bobby and his wife, Brittany, are teaching one of our. What, which class are y'all teaching? We're teaching the first and second graders. Oh, the challenge, man. A little bit of energy. My wife and I, we taught those one year. <laughs> it was tough. The things are going okay? They're going good. We have some good kids. Uh, like I said, a lot of energy. And so they are playing the games. Um, I want to say maybe halfway into the thing, I'm wore out, ready to go home. They're still running full speed. Um, but you know, I mean, we're doing really good. We're uh, we start off with the Bible study, mm -hmm. uh, which I, I really like. You know, they always they play games, do crafts. I really like to do the Bible study. And, uh, I mean, that's my favorite part of it. And I mean, the kids are really listening, really paying attention, learning. Uh, we had a good story last night about Lazarus. Uh, we covered a story about how Jesus rose Lazarus from the dead. And it, you know, it's just really good when you have an opportunity uh, to share the gospel, to share those stories of the faith, uh, stories from the Bible with kids, and just watch their eyes light up when they hear these stories. You know, sometimes it's the first time that they've ever heard. Cool. Well, if you don't know what Vacation Bible School is, it's where uh, churches, uh, I don't know, usually for a week, uh, lead in the night, some in the morning, and uh, just teach Bible stories, uh, mainly centered around Jesus. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it's a really good thing for kids. And last night we talked about the ABCs of salvation. That's right. And the A is to admit that you're a sinner. Admit it. Now, yeah, admit it. <laughs> admit it, Bobby. That's right. Admit you're a, a sinner. I am a sinner. I admit that Bobby is a sinner. <laughs> also admit that I'm a sinner. Uh, and we're neighbors, so we know it. <laughs> I know the Bible is the same. Uh, you know, the, the Bible teaches mm -hmm. that all people are sinners. There's a very famous verse in Romans chapter 3, verse 23. And you look it up in your Bible. If you don't have a Bible, you can go get you a free ESV Bible app and get it on your phone. Check that out. Romans chapter 3, verse 23. For all have sinned and come short mm -hmm. of the glory of God. We're just all sinners. We inherently displease God with our actions, with our inactions, with our attitudes, with our thoughts. Yeah. It's and easy. It's easy to do. Uh, yes. 
And do it daily. Hey, and you know, we are acutely aware of it. Mm-hmm. Now, there are probably some people out there that insist that they aren't sinners. Man, you are not married, I know. And all you have to do is go talk to your wife. She'll tell you you're a sinner. As a matter of fact, go ask somebody you really trust, like your grandmother. Your grandmother <laughs> wouldn't lie to you, would she? Go ask your grandmother. You know what she's going to say? She's going to say, Junior, you are absolutely a sinner. Absolutely. And uh, children learn how to lie really early. We've lied all of our yeah. lives. And you don't have to teach them to lie. They just know how to do no, it. Nah, man. They'll come out with wacky dudes. You have no idea where they came from. But uh, admit that you're a sinner. And uh, the simple fact that people are sinners is what necessitates us needing salvation. That's right. We've offended a holy God with our sins. We need to be rescued. We need to be saved. That's why Jesus died on the cross. We'll talk more about it in our later videos, but I'm Rusty. I'm Bobby. We are enjoying some <laughs> really good but really stewards. Really nice and cold beer. So you two take care. We'll catch you on the next go That's around. Good. We got a couple in the refrigerator going on. Yeah, we got some ready to go. We won't tell you what they are. Bobby doesn't know what they are. Oh, well, you yeah. might you might know what they are. Oh, I might. I don't know. Hopefully it'd be someone I hadn't tried yet. Although, I know I like these. Yeah, let me show Until next time, y'all.